Hi friends, how are you? It's Miss Stemble here. I have brought some different materials today that we are going to use to make some fun art. It's winter and last week you guys made a snowstorm collage and that was really fun. I had fun making it and I really enjoyed seeing the collages that you guys were making. So I thought since it's winter and I'm hoping that we will get some snow, but I don't know if we're going to. So I thought we could make some crystals with our salt and our watercolor paint. And if you don't have watercolor paint, that's okay. You can use food coloring. And I'm gonna use some of my tempera paint and we'll water it down a little and use that. But some salt will be necessary and any kind of salt that you have is totally fine. And what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be wetting our paper, adding some watercolor paint and sprinkling some salt on it. And when the salt dries, it looks like little crystals, like maybe it had snowed. So we're gonna go to the table and we're gonna get started with our watercolor painting with our salt to make some crystals. I'll see you in a minute, friends. So we really don't need a lot of materials for this. We do need some paper and a couple of brushes. We're gonna need some water and some paint, um, different kinds of paint can work. We're gonna use some of our temper paint, some of our watercolor paint, and we'll need some salt. That's kind of an important ingredient. So all we're gonna do is put our brush in some water, put some water on our paper, and put some watercolor paint on our paper. I'm gonna put a little bit of paint on my tray over here. Now I am using kind of some blues and some purples and some greens because those are kind of colors, those are our cool colors, sort of associate those with winter. You don't have to use those colors. And I know that in the tray they all look the same, but you'll see on the paper that they are different. If you're using food coloring, you can really use whatever colors that you like. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a little more um, water to my paper. Now I'm using construction paper, but whatever kind of paper you have um, will work fine. I'm gonna add some more water. The key to this is really is having a lot of water on your paper. That's really the trick because that's gonna let your, your colors flow a lot. I'm gonna add some more water and I'm even gonna add some water right So I'm just painting my paper with these colors. I'm not doing anything special, getting my paper nice and wet, and I'm just painting on my paper. Let's put a little purple up here. I'm gonna add some more water, add a little bit more color. It's really nice when your colors sort of flow together. I'm gonna add some more water. I'll put some more paint. Add some more paint over here. And you can see that when you add more water, the colors really blend together. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to pour some, I'm gonna pour it into my hand. You can, you know, put it in a cup or a spoon and I'm going to put some more water on my paper. And as I do, I'm going to sprinkle some salt on my paper. And then I'm going to add a little bit more water, maybe a little bit more paint, some more salt. And I'm just gonna keep doing that. I'm gonna add, let's see, a little more green paint, some salt, a little more blue paint, a little more water. And I just have added a little bit more salt. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let this dry. And when it dries, I'm going to shake the salt off of it. And what you're going to see are little crystals all over the paper. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna give it some time to dry. And then I'm gonna brush off the excess salt and I'm gonna show it to you again. So it's pretty much dry. It, it has a little more to go, but as you can see, once you put the salt on, it makes really cool crystals 
on your paper. And so this is a really fun thing to do in the winter when you want some snow. Now I'm going to just go ahead and lay that over here. And I want to show you that if you're using some tempera paint, you can do the same thing. I went ahead and I put out some um, tempera paint and I kind of mixed a couple of colors. The only difference is you need a little bit more water because this water is, this paint is thicker. So we're gonna go ahead and take some of our blue paint and we're just gonna paint it on our paper. I'm adding lots of water. I have some blue paint. I have some kind of purple paint here. I mixed a little bit of red paint. You can't see it, can you? I mixed a little bit of red in here. I'm gonna add a lot of water to my paper. Hold on, let me move this tray over. I have some green paint as well, so we can add the green. Maybe we'll put a little bit of green up here. We're gonna add some water. I'm really, the water really is what you need to make your salt crystals activate. So we're gonna just kind of add some more colors. We'll put a little bit more blue, a little bit more blue over here. And then you're just gonna do the same thing. You're gonna sprinkle some salt onto your paper while your paper's wet. And then you're gonna let the crystals dry. So you don't have to use um, watercolor paint. It's just a fun thing. It's what I would be using if we were in the classroom, but we're not. And so if you have some washable temper paint at home, if you have dry colors, you can use those too. You just kind of have to make sure to add enough water. So whatever kind of paint you have at your house, just make sure to add a lot of water and then sprinkle some salt on it when you're done. Let it dry and your crystals will be revealed to you. So I cannot wait to see what you guys make and I will see you next week. Bye friends. So this is the picture when it's fully dry and you can see that in the places where I put salt, it shows up like crystals because salt is crystal and when you add it with the water, the crystals really show up. And this is a close up. You can see on the left where there's some salt remaining and on the right where the salt brushed off, it leaves the remains of the crystals. And so this is a really fun project and I hope that you guys have fun doing it and I can't, just, can't wait to see what you make. See you next week, friends. Bye.